formed and have maintained a close bond that for some folks even raises some questions. And so we want to know. Uh, as Fox 6 News reporter Melanie Posey shows us, they're not the only ones who've kept close ties since the show. Good day, good day. It's a friendship that seemed destined from the start. Maybe it was their southern upbringing that brought Reuben Studdard and Kimberly Locke together during their race toward becoming the 2003 American Idol. Whatever it was, it wasn't too often you'd see one and not the other. Their friendship, playful at times. Okay, that's okay because we're in here and we know. Uh, we know. But always supportive. Reuben is real. <laughs> my friends, I'm going to introduce him to my girlfriends and they are going to love him. Oh my He's goodness. He's great. That was in 2003. Four years later, it's still the same. Give it up and give luck, everybody. We caught up with the two of them during a fundraising gala Ruben held for his Music Education Foundation in April. Because you all have kept and maintained this friendship over the years right. with your schedules, why did you want her to be here tonight? Well, you know, Kim and I have, uh, we, we're like brother and sister. We've been uh, friends since the show. And, and I hadn't seen Ruben in a long time, so it's nice just to come and, you know, hang out and see him and, you know, do something good for him. There have always been questions of just how close the two really are. But during our interview, Kimberly set the record straight. Ruben, I never dated. Um, I don't know. He is like my brother now. And we joke. And, you know, every time he calls me or I call him, I'm like, you got a girlfriend? You know, of course, actually, he does have a girlfriend right now. And let me add that she's very beautiful and she's very tall. Um, but, you know, Ruben and I have a special relationship. And, you know, not to say that I wouldn't date him, but, you know, we never have. <laughs> In fact, there was actually a third member of their buddy system that helped them through the show that year. Everybody getting along as well as you two are getting along. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Especially like me, her, and Clay. Oh, That's yeah. That's the team. That's the South team. We keep it together. Right. American Idol 2003 runner-up Clay Aiken, who hailed from North Carolina, rounded out the talented trio. You know what? Reuben, Clay, and I actually developed our friendship. It was immediate. She still remembers when she and Ruben made the top ten, but Clay didn't. They had made a pact to be the top three in the contest and were determined to get Clay through as a wild card pick. And I remember that night we sat down in the Coca-Cola Red Room on the couch, and we, just the three of us, with no one else, said a prayer. You know, and, and that, it, you know, kind of makes me a little emotional. But, um, <laughs> you know, that's what we all had in common. And, and I think we knew that immediately when we met. And, you know, you just know. You just know good people when you, when you meet them. In the end, they did come in as the top three finalists. Each has gone on to follow their dreams in the music world, each recording numerous CDs, racking up awards, and touring all across the globe. Still, their schedules aren't ever too busy for friends. Reuben, Clay, and I actually do keep in touch with each other probably the most, I think. And it's one of those things, the good thing is that we know we have real friendships because even if months go by, we can still pick up the phone and call each other. So we just kind of pick up where we left off and we catch up. Melanie Posey, Fox 6 News. And as Melanie said, all three of them.